Slash says his experience with Velvet Revolver was terrible. Velvet Revolver was active from 2002 to 2008, returning for a brief reunion in 2012. The band was well received by fans, as it was composed of former Guns N' Roses members Slash, Duff McKagan, and Matt Sorum, along with Dave Kushner and Scott Weiland. A possible return of Guns N' Roses was unlikely until then, and Velvet Revolver somewhat satisfied the fans. Contraband was their first album released in 2004 and topped the American chart in its debut week, selling 256,000 copies. The second and final original work, Libertad, was released in 2007 and sold much less than its predecessor. Nonetheless, it managed to achieve gold status in Canada and New Zealand. The band fired Wyland due to behavioral, drug, and financial problems. A story similar to that of his main band, Stone Temple Pilots. <laughs> Scott Wyland was irredeemable. People who knew the vocalist warned the other members of Velvet Revolver from the beginning, but they didn't want to judge before working together. According to Slash, it was sad to go through what they did and witness how things ended up that way for Scott, but he acknowledges they had good times. All band members attended Wyland's funeral in 2015. Slash said that Velvet Revolver was not fun and that he has nothing positive to say about that experience, except that they wrote some cool stuff. This is the opinion of the guitarist who returned to the legendary Guns N' Roses and remains with them to this day.